Hello, everybody. Welcome to my presentation on Paxos Consensus Algorithm. My name is Yun Xiaosong. If you have any questions during the presentation, feel free to ask me. If we want to talk about Paxos, we firstly need to know why it is needed, because that's the whole point of the presentation today. There are two big things that Paxos help us to achieve. First thing first, it is a consensus algorithm, so it serves to help a group of nodes to reach a consensus. Secondly, it tolerates certain amount of faults during execution. However, to achieve a consensus with Paxos algorithm, there are several assumptions that we have to make on these distributed systems. The first assumption is over communications that they are asynchronous which means nobody in the group has an expectation over when the emitted message would be received, and nobody expects a reply. It also implies that potential failures can exist in all three phases. The second point is on communication part, and I have to emphasize that, emphasize that only one-to-one -one communication is allowed. Furthermore, there are no Byzantine failures, which means no proposer will propose a faulty message to other nodes. Based on those assumptions, let's go through an example on a simplest Paxos system with three nodes. Um, from these slides, I'm not going to turn on the video recording because it might block my PowerPoint. And just a quick intro, there are three nodes, 001, 002, and 003 in the system. I use double zero because I don't want to have any confusions in terms of the number. and as we can see, each of the nodes can be either an acceptor or proposer. But now let us start with node 001. Say it wants the group to reach a consensus over choosing value 1. Okay, to do that, now node 001 will first ask other nodes on whether they are available or not. And if nothing bad happens, node 002 in that case will reply node 001 that it is available as you can see on the screen, and it is going to keep that in the memory or disk that 001 is going to be proposing something. Just as it interacted with node 002, node 001 will talk with node 003 on whether it is available or not. And here we assume everything goes well and there's no fault, and node 003 will reply to node 001 with yes, I'm available, and node 003 is going to keep that information somewhere within it. By the way, node 001 has an acceptor as well, and it is going to tell itself of getting ready. Okay, uh, it seems that I might have forgot something. There should be a number that indicates the round of the Paxos consensus algorithm. And to define it, we just call it round one here. And every message in this round will have number one in it. So the nodes will know which round they are in right now and where which round the message comes from. Now everything went on perfectly, and it is round one. Node 001 has already known that everybody is ready right now, as you can see on the left top, and it is a perfect chance to message its order to other nodes. And the proposer orders everybody one by one, that they should choose one as a group consensus. Pay attention, it is, through, it is through three times of one one communication, and each of the three acceptors receives the order. We assume everything is perfect, and they will start to execute what they have received. And after the node has accepted the order, each of the nodes will tell other nodes that it chose one with one one communication, just as page A, page 9, page 10 show. And we can see here node 002 tells 001 and 003, I chose one. 
and no 003 tells no 001 and no 002 that I chose one. And here no 001 tells no 002 and no 003 that I chose one. And it is finished. In the end, each node knows that chose one is a consensus and it is reached. And we consider that this is a successful round one. However, there's another big trait of pixels that are not introduced yet. It can tolerate faults in distributed systems. And we are going to talk about it over how it handles those faults in round two. Now everything goes the same except the network between no 001 and no 002 suffers. Therefore, the message in the first phase won't be conveyed to no 002. And the node has zero idea of what is happening. However, no 001 will still receive votes from majority, which are from itself and no 003. So it will go on to the next step since the majority wins. Now we can see it orders other nodes to choose two. And it is very obvious that node 002 has no zero idea over what happened and it is not ready. But why don't we just wait and see what happens next? Um, firstly, node 001 and node 003 will tell other nodes that they have chosen two. However, no 002 will only receive those messages from other nodes with its acceptor in the first place. Here it receives a message from no 001 and here it receives message from no 003. And since no 002 probably has already wondered about what happened in the first place, and it is going to be like, what? And after receive the message from the majority of the group, it is going to think about, I have to catch up since the majority already decided to do that. And it is going to choose value two as well. And after the node zero to two choose the value two, it is going to send the message to other node that, oh yeah, I have chose the value two. And let us consider right now the other nodes in this case. And it is not hard to find that before node two responds to other nodes, other nodes had already told the proposer that they are ready and can execute and they will give feedback to other to node two in this case. Therefore, in both perspectives, the round two was successfully completed despite the fact that there one fault. Okay, right, now let's see what will happen if there are two files at the same phase. As we can see right now, no 001 can now success successfully convey the message to no 002 and no 003. Um, there's some network issue as you can see. And so no 001 will wait because it didn't receive the votes from majorities. As we can see on the le uh, on the right top, I put a wait on ROM3. Um, it seems that no 001 will wait forever, but at this time, no 002 propose a new round of consensus and starts everything again. And we call this round four. Because four is a higher order number than three, therefore, what becomes obvious is that round four will take over round three, and everything will go on to a brand new round of Paxos consensus algorithm. And as you can see, I just the round three. Um, at, this, at this time, as we can see throughout the whole process, Paxos takes advantages of distributed system to tolerate faults and use majority wings rule to tackle those faults. Say that we have two n plus one processes in the system, and the number of faults that we can tolerate is actually n. 
which is pretty good in terms of fault tolerance considering the cost to achieving that. Uh, right now, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me.